tribal people residing in Osongoma, Waniba, Erdhausen, Shelter Freak Estates, and some adjoining streets in these areas woke up on a certain morning in the month of June to find that the supply of electricity in these areas have improved tremendously. This positive turnaround in power supply in these parts of Yo, which the people lent, was made possible by the investment of the Governor Odomi Manuel administration in the power injection substation along four lanes dominated discussions on various media platforms, including social media, for several weeks. On the first Saturday in the month of August, a group of about 30 Aquibum citizens undertook a fact-finding tour to the station to see things for themselves. They were lucky to meet the engineer on duty, Mr. Ikpeyong Okore, who took them around the project. He told the team that the substation will facilitate the provision of special power distribution lines to Shelter Freak Estate, Ewood Housing Estate, Four Lanes, Osongoma and its environs, providing homes and businesses in its catchment area at least 18 hours of uninterrupted power supply. And uh, the station is very good. Since uh, we started mounting this station, we have uninterrupted power supply. So we have been, you know, supplying the customers very well. And uh, the customers have been, you know, uh, thanking us, telling us that uh, the, the, the power supply now is stable. So they don't have any problem. So as soon as we are getting the light from the transmission, so we fit the customers outside 24 hours in a day. For the people of Enyongo Fort Village, were part of Waniba Road, Anwa, and Udoi Pongpo Streets, their collective opinion is that this is one of the major achievements of the Governor Dom Emmanuel administration that has brought so much impact into their lives. The team spoke to the chairman of the village council and he summed up the impression of the villagers about the project this way. And since the issue of power supply has always been a recurring theme in the high cost of doing business in the Kwaibum and everywhere around Nigeria, the Kwaibum Citizens Tour team sought to find out how businessmen in these areas were finding this improvement in the power situation. But for the past two months now, it can have a constant thing. Okay. At least, I'm going to reduce the cost of buying for all the noise and everything. Okay. Presently. The power has really improved. Over the night, we didn't put on our generator. Thank God. For now, it's a steady light. Okay. Okay. It's what? A 18 hours steady light. Wow. Okay. That's that's every day. Cool. Yeah, I think we have built up to like 18 hours steady light here. So we don't buy for the I used to buy for like 10 liters in the day. Okay. okay. But now, even I can remember the one I bought last week. Further questions by members of the team had revealed that the present administration in Akwaibum State is considering replicating this kind of injection substation in various parts of Uyo to put an end to perennial challenge of poor power supply in some parts of the state, thereby contributing to lower cost of doing business in these areas. This kind of project is going on in um, um, Eparapua which is a transmission. They are trying to put on a, another transmission there, which can help that area to have stable power supply. After inspecting the substation and interacting with residents and owners of business outlets located in the areas benefiting from the improved power supply, members of the team also bear their minds. Honestly, the, the responses from the residents is very encouraging. That shows that government is doing something. In fact, with what I have seen today, is a right step in the right direction. And it should also be replicated elsewhere, so that um, there can be lights everywhere in Akwaibom State. The team left with the hope that the Akwaibom people living in these areas will rise and seek out ways to reap positive and legal economic gains that this improvement in power supply brings. It was also their hope that the Governor Dom Emmanuel administration will expedite action in replicating these in the areas in dire need of this intervention. The Aquibum Citizens Tour. Let's see Aquibum State and tell the stories to the benefit 
of our people. Stand up and be counted. Thank you.